Good evening, everybody. Uh, we shall start shortly. I think um, everyone is going to log in one by one. So just give a minute for everybody to log in and then we'll get started. Huh? So good evening and welcome to today's session. Today is the 12th of December 2021. And I'm very happy that I'm able to do this talk today for all of you. All right. So let's let's give everyone uh, one or two minutes. Yeah. Let's get started. We're going to start shortly, eh? just give me a minute. Thank you, everybody. Just give me a minute, like I mentioned to you. Yeah, I just want to just wait for a minute for, because I know there are a lot of people clocking in. Uh, um, you know, Vani, uh, Murali, Shuganti, Satya, Janita, Shamla, Kavita, Uma. Thank you very much. You guys are the early ones. Mary, welcome. Welcome for today's talk. Uh, Dr. Usha, uh, Sharon, Revadi, Arul, Malini. So many of you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I, I'm very excited about today because uh, I, I, I really wanted to, you know, uh, share some thoughts about 2022. Um, I think 2021, uh, 2020 and 2021 was uh, very depressing for a lot of people. Um, for a lot of people, not everyone. Huh? There are a lot of people who actually had a, had a great session, had a great time. You know, they, they, they're very happy with everything. But there were, of course, people who were not very ha happy because of, uh, you know, the financial situation or the work, career, and whatever not. But 2022, well, um, you know, the pandemic, um, it's not over, but it's its now we can go out and, you know, you've gone back to work. And uh, a lot of us will be able to do a lot of normal things in 2022. So um, it's good to set goals and re-look re at your life and uh, get going. And that's the reason why I decided to do this talk today. And uh, this is, um, for those of you already following my Law of Attraction program, or my Hope on Open program, what I'm going to share today might not be very new. In fact, I'm actually just picking some of the tools from different, different, um, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, angles, you know, um, of what I've taught so far. As you all know, I teach seven tools in Law of Attraction and seven tools in Hope on Open And then I, I, I also teach a lot of other things on financials. And also today I'm going to combine some of this to make sure that these are the most relevant things that you got to do for 2022 in order to achieve your goals. So maybe for a start, eh? maybe for a start, um, you all could maybe type in and tell me, um, you know, what, what are your goals for 2022? Can you just type it out? So while we're waiting for others to come, maybe we can uh, type it out. You know, uh, you can type it out and show me what are your, uh, you know. Okay. So I can see your... Uh, what are your goals? Okay, so type it out um, as we go along. We're still waiting as we move along. You know, type out. But anyway, I, I just want to tell you that the last, um, uh, I know a lot of you are in touch with me through WhatsApp and they've been keeping in touch. But uh, November, December, I just decided to take a break, which is the reason why I've not been sending out messages. And uh, two months have been very, very cool. You know, I just wanted to take a break and I didn't send messages out to anybody. So just bear with me. I just needed a break after the 18 months of uh, continuous series of programs after programs. Yeah. And of course, today I'm starting off. Okay, so I've got people who are saying that I wanted. Um, so type out what what is it that you want huh? um, uh, for 2022? Prosperity, wealth, career advancement, financial freedom, buy my dream house. I'm just reading out as it comes. Yeah, financial freedom, uh, growing my career. Okay, what else? What about the rest of you? There's so many of you. Health and wealth. Okay, very good. What about the rest of you? Um, platinum in the MV business. Okay. What else? Financial freedom, financial independent, financial freedom, and a job, okay? Uh, start a new business, peaceful life, okay? Uh, these are things that uh, many of you are mentioning, yes? Yeah? So I'm just reading it as it comes along. Health, wealth, and career progression. Happy family. 
okay career change um prosperity wealth good health okay um okay i i hope i i don't know whether you guys are in already in my law of attraction of open up program but after today you if you really want to you might want to go into the program to get me as a coach because once you're in my program then i will guide you step by step you know because only when you're in the program i know you're following all the steps correctly that's why i can follow you i mean the program is only 99 ringgit it's not a big deal if you want to change your career you want to be a platinum and mba and earn seven eight thousand to get 99 ringgit is nothing so or if you want to you know have career advancement or whatever just pay 99 ringgit join the program so at least you can be part of my team so i can coach you yeah i can guide you yeah um so that's what you can do okay good hi paramis paramis is from us so we've got people from different different parts of the world eh? we have people from you know, us today we have people from uh, dubai today we have people from india today we're watching health and wealth financial freedom my my buy my dream house you know uh, genuine connections okay so i guess she wants to do relationships so then genuine happy life so i'm still reading you know work on my health and more savings uh, happiness okay career advancement no more covid oh wow okay no more covid i'm not too sure about that part as long as people don't follow sop i don't think uh, rama we're going to have uh, we're going to have uh, you know any of this eradication of covid i'm not too sure about that eh? start a business a stable job financial security happiness family blah 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 healthy body success in my business financial wealth abundance of wealth health and happiness a lot of you say financial freedom complete thesis and get my doctorate wow I migrate to Canada. Wow. Okay. Business success in 2022. Wow. Okay. Now I, I'm I'm just reading all that. Now I I need you to know some of the things I'm going to tell you today is um, very basic things, but I need you to know. Yeah. So let's get started. Um, hold back your questions until the end of the session, and I probably open up for Q and A. Then you can ask me question. But I I want you to remember I'm not showing any slides today because uh, when I show slides, you take a screenshot, and many of you don't even look at it after that. So please, I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and I'm going to read again. Take a paper, take a notebook, take a pen, and start writing. You need to write. I'm going to share with you 10 tips. I want you to write down the tips, okay? So please go and uh, write down the tips, yeah? So, um, okay, so write down the tips. So please take a paper and pen quickly, yeah? Uh, I'm still reading. Abundance of wealth, health and happiness, abundance of health, uh, okay? Healthy body, uh, achieving silver producer. Um, you know, a lot of people are commenting about Amway because I'm my wife and I in the Amway business. We are diamonds in the business. So I know many of them are here because they also want to know about how to achieve success in Amway. Yeah? But really, today's talk is nothing to do with uh, any business or any particular tools, any particular, uh, you know, options. You know, I've got people from the insurance industry watching today. I've got people from the mutual fund industry watching me today. I've got people who are just career, people in career watching me today. I've got housewife. I've got, you know, so really doesn't matter. Okay um okay so let's get started like i said um i'm gonna this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna share with you 10 tips okay i'm gonna share you 10 tips today about how to make sure you achieve your goals for 2022 okay now but before i share with you the 10 tips, i want to tell you something yeah um, you need to understand that you will not be able to achieve the 10 tips or your goals for next year if you do not personally change it's very important einstein said this you know uh, einstein i'm sure all of you know einstein, einstein said this uh, if you are trying to solve your problems from the point where the problems were created, you will never be able to solve the problem. Which means uh, if this year you had a lot of other, forget about COVID, eh, but you had a lot of other problems, your business did not grow, your career did not grow, and you had a lot of issues this year. And next year, if your mentality is the same, your financial mentality, your negative mentality, your mentality is the same next year, your situation won't improve. No matter how much you try with law of attraction and hope on up, blah, blah, blah. blah because you need to mentally change. So if you do follow law of attraction and you do hope on a bono, obviously you will mentally change. And when you mentally change, your results will change. And I mean, I, I mean people who follow my programs either on uh, YouTube or Facebook, you know, the, I mean, YouTube, I've got about 90 over videos free. Just go and watch the videos. And if you, if you follow what I teach in YouTube, your life will change if you watch and then do what I ask you to. But what I need you to understand is this. If this year you are very negative and you are upset about everything and you had fights with everyone and you have anger issues with everyone, and yet you still don't want to do anything to do with affirmation, you don't want to do hope on up on all, you don't want to change, and you still want to blame other people, 2022 will get, 2022 is going to be the same. It's not going to change because Einstein says if you are trying to solve your problem with the same mentality where the problem was created, your problem will not get solved. So I want you to know very, very clearly that 
your attitude must change. Your, your, you need to look at personal development. You might need to read books. You might need to, because I need you to occupy yourself. I need to focus yourself on development. Many of you say financial freedom. How many of you have read Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or, you know, Cash Flow Quadrant, or attended my financial intelligence talk? You know, I mean, I, I, I do a financial number 20 ringgit or 30 ringgit. I mean, don't have to come mind. I mean, there are so many free videos you can watch. But I'm just saying that how many of you have taken the trouble to change attitude? So the biggest problem a lot of us is that we want to become financially successful, but we don't want to change our attitude. And if you don't change your attitude, your situation will not change. So I need you to know the 10 tips I'm going to share with you are things that you got to do and mentally must change in order for you to achieve great success in 2022. Very important, huh? So please remember, watch, uh, read books, watch YouTube videos, any videos. You want real estate, go and watch real estate, uh, you know, agent video. If you want to do well in mutual fund, go and watch that. If you want to succeed in MLM or Mway or any other business, go and watch the videos, learn from the success stories, learn from other diamonds. Like many of you say platinum, go and watch a lot of videos from other platinums and see how they've succeeded because that will make your mentality change. And when your mentality change, everything will change. I think for those of you who follow Ho'oponopono, you know what I talk about Ho'oponopono, right? Because Ho'oponopono will create the kind of environment that will create change. But you have to do the exercise. I have people who say, oh my God, Mr. Kathy, I love Ho'oponopono. I said, are you doing it? I used to do. So you see, so things won't change if you used to do. Or you don't do the affirmation, right? Okay, let's let's start about this. I'll get carried away. Uh, I'm going to share with you 10 tips today on how to make 2022 an amazing year, right? Um, I'm going to give five tips on law of attraction, three tips on Ho'oponopono, and two on financial mindset, financial issue. Because I want to know, I, want, I know a lot of you wrote about career, blah, 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 blah. But many of you, I think you want to make sure that your 2022 has got more money, uh, better income, or you know, better um, financial management. So I'm going to talk to you about uh, two financial mindset you must have for 2022, right? I repeat, huh? so I'm going to share with you 10 tips. Five is on law of attraction, um, three is on Ho'oponopono, and two is on uh, financial mindset or financial things that you need to look into. Okay, let's look at law of attraction. First five tips I want to share with you. Now, I, I, I believe you have paper and pen, right? Okay, so this is what I want you to do. It's an exercise thing yeah, that I'm going to do with you today. Yeah? So number one, number one, the first tip that I want to tell you is be clear with your goals for 2022. Be clear with the goals. So some of you wrote down just now, Financial freedom, financial freedom, financial freedom, financial freedom. But what does financial freedom mean to you? What does it mean to you? I, I don't accept anything that says financial freedom. I need you to understand. I want you to be very clear. So, so this is what I want you to do. Eh? So uh, tip number one, I want you to write down three things you want to achieve in 2022 with clarity by 31st of December 2022. Now, I know you can achieve any time throughout the year, but at least by 31st of December 2022, you need to achieve it. For example, um, I want to be a general manager in my company. Or I want to be earning 10,000 ringgit salary from my company. Or I want to be a platinum in the MBA business, like some of you said. Or, um, you know, I want to uh, purchase my own house in, in you know, uh, in Puchong, you know. Or um, I want to have 20,000 ringgit savings in my account. Or I want to be able to have a, a conceive and have a baby by 31st, 12th, 2020. So write down three things. Now you can write as many as you want, eh? but for today's exercise, I think you should be very clear about three things. So normally it could be finance, money, how much money you want to have, how much money you want to earn. Number two, it could be uh, material, car, house, goal, and whatever not. And number three could be even yourself, health, uh, could be even career, but three things. Can everybody do that, please? Three things that you want to achieve in 2022. Please write down now. That's the first thing you must do. With clarity, eh? not a lot of money. Sorry, eh? a lot of money doesn't count. Must be very clear how much you want to have in a bank or how much you'll be earning. So it could be either I want to have 100,000 in my bank account or I want to be earning 10,000. It doesn't really matter. If for you, it doesn't matter where it comes. Like somebody said just now, I want to start a business. Your business will come. But first write down that I should be earning 10,000 ringgit from a business by this date. Now, when you say that, then what will happen is the business will come. But you need to know what how much you want to make so three goals huh? three goals all right so write that down okay write down that now, listen I, since i'm only going to talk for an hour or so so i have to be very very succinct eh? that's why i need to be i need to be very clear that this is what you got to do now of course at the end of the program i i will tell you that you i've got my 99 ringgit program you can join in but that's okay if you don't want doesn't matter don't worry it doesn't make a difference to me it will make a big difference to you though okay so the first tip is 
write down three goals that you want to achieve by 31st December 2020. So if you're a student, uh, I want to be able to have straight A's in all my exam, you know, in 2022, by 31st December, you know, something like that. Like last year, I had this young lady from University of Malaya who said, I want to have 10 A's in my, uh, uh, you know, uh, 2022, uh, 2021, and she achieved it because she did exactly what I've asked her to do. So uh, clear goals, number one. Number two, tip number two. Tip number two is, once you know your three goals, once you know your three goals, you need to write them in what you call an affirmation. An affirmation, okay? You need to write it out first. Now, some of you might have my phone number. If you Google down in Facebook, you can get my phone number. And of course, you can WhatsApp. I can have a look at it. Or not. But if you're in my program, then obviously you can send me and for me to check your affirmation. Now, very important for you to understand about affirmation. So now, let's say, let's say you say, number one, I want to be able to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, number one, I want to be uh, driving a car, okay? Uh, let's say a Honda Accord, let's say number one. Eh? Number two is, let's say, I want to be earning 10,000 in a month, okay? And number three, maybe I want to be slim, trim, and I want to be, say, um, 45 kg or 50 kg, let's say, okay? Then, now, you need to write an affirmation, and the affirmation always will go like this, huh? Write down, huh? I am, I am so happy and grateful. I repeat, so happy and grateful. This is the exact word. I am. Now, don't change it. Do not change it. Do not write your own words. Do not follow me. Eh? I am so happy and grateful that that I have, I have, and then uh, a, a Honda, uh, what do you call it, um, Accord or Honda Civic, white color. Um, you know, I'm earning uh, 10,000 a month and I'm slim, trim and healthy and weigh 45 kg, for example. That is an affirmation. So tip number two, the three goals you have from tip number one, now you write in an affirmation form. So it could be anything. I'm so happy and grateful that I am a general manager in my company earning 35,000 ringgit a month and living in a beautiful bungalow house in Pochong as of 31st, 12, 2022. So you finish up with as of 31st, 12, 2022. Now you can have different dates, but I am suggesting in the interest of what we are trying to, I'm trying to teach you today, just a one date, which is 31st of December, 2022. And that's how you write it down. So some of you said, I want to be a platinum. So you put that, I'm so happy and grateful that I am a platinum in the MBA business, earning 8,000 ringgit a month, and maybe qualifying for a trip to, you know, Istanbul, for example, as of 31st of August, uh, or 31st of uh, August, yeah, uh, 2022. This is what the people in the MBA business. But otherwise, this. 31st of December 2022. Any of your goals for those of you. But I would suggest you write down three goals. This is the um, second thing you got to do. So I repeat. Number one, identify three goals. Number two, uh, if you have more than three goals, well, I'll tell you what to do later. Huh? Uh, number three. Okay, tip number three. Yeah. Huh? Oh, by the way, sorry, I forgot to tell you. This affirmation, you must write it down every day, 16 times a day, preferably in the morning. I repeat. Huh? So once you've got this sentence, huh? I'm so happy and grateful that I'm earning... Uh, you know, I'm earning this much, I'm living here, whatever. This affirmation, you must write diligently in a notebook. Get a notebook, uh, get a notebook and write diligently every day, 16 times a day, preferably in the morning. Now, if you cannot do it in the morning, don't worry. Just do it anytime throughout the day, but preferably in the morning because you want to start the morning by telling the universe what you want. So it's very important that you write the affirmation 16 times a day in one sitting. Don't break it up. You cannot have breakfast, lunch, and dinner together. You must break it up, right? But here, the, the, when you do this 16, you must do it in one sitting. And finish it off, okay? And finish it off, all right? So you need to remember that you need to do it 16 times a day, yeah? I hope that, that makes sense to all of you guys. Now, uh, number three. Number three, yeah? I, I'll, I'll answer questions at the end, huh? So let me finish off all the tips, yeah? Number three is you need to come up with what you call a vision board, okay? So number one, identify three goals. You can have more, but let's say three goals. Number two, write it in an affirmation format. Affirmation must be written 16 times a day. Number three, you need to have a vision board. Now, what is a vision board? Vision board is very simple. You get a cardboard, get an art blog, uh, get a manila card, and place it somewhere in the wall where you can see every day. And on that particular uh, manila card, paste the pictures of what you want. So for example, if you're a general manager of a company, write down the name of your company or not. Don't take a picture of the logo of your company, put it down, and put a general manager and put your name. For example, uh, if you are buying a house, put a house picture of the house. If you're going to earn 10,000 ringgit, put a bank statement to show the 10,000 coming into a bank account. 
If you're getting a house, you can put a SNP agreement for your house. Um, you, if you are looking at slim, trim, and healthy, you can get a picture of Priyanka Chopra, change it to put your face, and put put your picture there with your face and not uh, no, and, and Priyanka Chopra's body, and put a date and put a name. And that's a, because it, when you look at a vision board, it is you. It is you. Or if you were slimmer earlier in the, your younger days, get a picture of you slimmer in the younger days and put it up and put that. That's what you want. But very important, a vision board is a visual board, which means must have pictures, not words. You can write words, but it must have pictures. Now, since you have three goals, which I told you to write down, you put the pictures of the three goals first and all other goals. Remember I told you something just now? Some of you may got many, many goals. You want to travel, put a picture of where you want to travel. Um, you want to buy a you know a jewelry for your mother. Put a picture of the jewelry you want for your mother. Um, you want to set up an orphanage home. Okay, put a picture of an orphanage home. You want to have two beautiful dogs. Put a picture of the dogs. Doesn't matter. Vision board could have anything and everything that you want to have in your life on that house. You can put the house. You know how your house will be. The interior will be. Um, you know the home theater system in your house. The sofa. Everything you can do with that. No problem at all. But that is a vision board. So vision board is something you need to. Uh, we'll have the pictures of all your dreams. So I repeat, number one, put down three goals that you want to achieve by 31st of December 2022. Number two, write them down in an affirmation format. Like I mentioned just now, I'm so happy and grateful that I am um, earning this much of money, having this much of money in the bank account, uh, working here or having this car or having this house as of 31st of December 2022 and write it 16 times a day. Number three, have a vision board. Put the pictures of all the things you want in the vision board. Now, Number four, which is related to your vision board. Huh? Okay, number four is very important. Huh? Number two, now you must do number three first, which means you have to have the vision board first. Number four is visualization. Visualization means you want to be able to visualize every day you having achieved the goals. For example, if you put a picture of the car in the vision board, every day once you get up, look at the vision board, close your eyes. I mean, look at the entire thing on your vision board, close your eyes and visualize driving the car. Going everywhere with the cars, the smell of the car, the leather seats, the music, you know, how smooth your car is, the air con and everything. Or visualize the house. Uh, you It's living in the house, cooking in the house, the TV is on, the children in the house. Visualize. You put there, one of your dreams is to have your children graduate. Visualize your children graduating, you at a convocation ceremony. Now, this visualization could be for 2022 or could be subsequent years. But let's say we talk about only 2022 at this point in time. So I need you to understand, eh? though when you do the affirmation, you're only writing three goals and you're writing it down, but your vision board could be everything else you want, like you being slim. How do you I mean, visualize, visualize yourself being slim? Visualize people uh, you know, telling you, calling you, say, oh my God, you look so good. Oh my God, you look so slim. Oh my, Lord, oh my God, you look so sexy. Oh my God, you look so pretty. Oh my God, you look so buffed up. You know, you've got muscles now. You know, So you need to visualize this. You need to visualize in terms of what you hear, what you see how people see you, the smell, everything, because that is real. And you must do it twice a day. So uh, number one, you write down three goals. Number two, you write affirmation 20, 16 times a day. Number three, do a vision board, which your pictures already want. Number four, you need to visualize it twice a day. Once you get up and before you sleep. Every day, twice a day. Once you get up, before you sleep. Now your, your vision board can be digital. You can be on a laptop, you can be on a phone. No problem. If you have it on a phone, no problem. Uh, you look at the picture, always look at the picture, then close your eyes and visualize it. So if the vision board is in front of you with all the pictures, you can look at it, you know, like you being a platinum, then put it down, you know, you're being recognized in PWTC or, you know, for those who are in the insurance industry or for those in mutual fund, any other industry, rec visualize you being recognized, your name being called, recognize about the income that you're getting, your bank statement, visualize it. Very important that you play your own movie. You know, what you must understand is this, when you sit down and watch a movie for Two and a half hours, three hours, you're into the movie. Actually, what you all don't realize is when you're into the movie, you are into what you call a theta state, a meditative state. That means uh, you're so focused into the movie, you know. So focused into the movie. Sometimes your wife calls, your husband calls, so you don't hear. Because you're so focused into the movie. And that is the state you must be, but only for about five minutes. So that's why every day visualization is look at everything. Okay, so you can do in sequence. You've got a car, you've got a house, you've got your body. You got your money, you got a bank account, you got everything. So you look at everything, close your eyes, and then visualize driving the car, going to the house, going into the house, and then uh, uh, taking your bank statement, looking at the money, looking at your ticket, first class travel to do, you know, the different countries, and going to your office, and you see uh, on the signboard says gender manager, and your name is there. 
that is called vision visualization of what is on the vision board. I think I hope you understand the first four. Huh? I'm going to go to number five now. All this is under law of attraction. Okay. Like I said, if you have any questions, I'll answer your questions later. Huh? So I repeat, huh? number one, you write down three things that you really, really want for 31st of December 2022. Now you can have more. My suggestion is limited. I, I want you to know one thing. Many of you want a car or a house or a better lifestyle or whatever, but all of it is linked to money. Correct? So I am suggesting just put how much money you want to have and how much of savings you want to have. And that itself automatically will make you bring the money for you to have a better life of standard. So even if you put, I want a car or a house, ultimately it's linked to money. So you can actually think about focusing on the money part of it. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not here to talk about, um, you know, uh, you know, don't, don't be materialistic. Nothing. Listen, God never says you cannot be materialistic. God just says have good value system. So it's okay to think of a big car or a big house or, a, you know, everything big. No problem at all. But be a good human being. That is the key. The key is not about what car you drive. The key is whatever car you drive, you are still a polite driver, a good conscious driver. You park properly. You allow people to drive in. You follow the rules. And that is what is important. You can have a big house. But if you are willing to give food to the cats and the dogs and the birds that come outside your house or bankers who come, you are willing to, then it's okay. You can live in whatever house you want to live. But the moment your arrogance comes in, your ego comes in, your e ego, E-G-O, -E ego, ego stands for aging God out. So when you have a big car and a big house and your ego comes in and you, you edge God out of your life, that is bad. So for me personally, I think, please dream big. Please think of what do you want. No problem. But for those of you who are very new to this concept, I would suggest you just focus on 2022 first. And if you follow whatever I teach you today and it works for you, then reset for 2023 and 2024 and 25 and use it in your life. You're going to have an amazing life. I met a young gentleman today. He's 38 years old and he told me that He's very disappointed. In fact, he's in my advanced Hope and Omana program and he signed up in a program. Really, really engineer, smart guy. I was so happy to have met him today. He's 38 years old and he says, you know, Mr. Kathy, I'm looking at retiring at age of 45. And I told him, I said, you know, you know what? I will tell you this today. Like, with kind of an attitude you have and so humble, the way you think and talk, you can retire in two years time because you know what? God is with you. Yeah, I tell you, you do all those things I teach in my programs. Two years from today, you'll be retired. You'll be very rich. Very Because at the end of the day, Money will come to people who have got good values. Do you know where cockroaches and rats go? You know where cockroaches come? Dirty places. Where rats go? Dirty places. So where do you have debts and all kind of problems? If you're not clean. If your energy is clean, your house is clean, everything is clean, you will have an amazing amount of money coming to your house. Yeah? So remember, fifth one on law of attraction. Okay? So five tips on law of attraction. Number one, three goals that you want to achieve. Number two, write your affirmation 16 times a day. Number three, have a vision board and put the pictures of whatever you want in your life. Don't be shy. Just put whatever pictures you want. You want three cars, put the pictures of three cars. Nothing wrong with that. Think big. Okay? God is never going to be upset with you about that. Don't worry about it. Okay? And uh, um, number four, do visualization. Number five. Okay? Number five that you need to do with regards to law of attraction is you need to write down 10 uh, empowering beliefs to read every day. Okay? What are empowering beliefs? Many of us have got what you call limiting beliefs. We all have a limiting. Limiting belief means, cannot okay, lie, Mr. Kathy. No, lie, not possible. My company won't promote me. My company, jaga, 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 you know, look at the skin. Okay, cannot lie, Mr. Kathy. Very difficult, Mr. Kathy. I'm very lazy. Mr. Kathy, I cannot focus. Uh, these are called limiting beliefs. Uh, the problem with a lot of people you has got limiting beliefs. Oh, I, you know, I'm lazy. La, I'm, you know, uh, sleepy la, always. I'm tired la, always. I'm sickly la, always. A lot of us got limiting beliefs. So what I need you to do is, Tip number five is you have to change the way you think and talk. Self-talk is very, very, very important. There's a book by um, How to Talk to Yourself, you know? What to say when you talk to yourself. That's the book, yeah? What to say when you talk to yourself. Title of the book, huh? What to say when you talk to yourself by Shad Hemsletter. That is the guy's name, huh? Shad, S-H-A-D, Shad Hemsletter. Okay? What to say when you talk to yourself, okay? And in the book, he says that, what do you say to you every day? Look at the mirror and you say, oh my God, look at myself. You know, I look at my mirror and say, you know what? I'm healthy. I'm a champion. I help people and good things come to me. When you say like that, you are telling your soul and your soul will then start bringing it. But if you look at the mirror and say, hey, yo, why la my luck like this? Why la my life like that? Why la I married this person? Why la my children like that? Why la while our money always goes. See, everything you say is a mantra. The Muslims believe when you say something 44 times, it's a doa. We all believe that anything you say again and again becomes a prayer. 
So what are you saying? So um, number five, tip number five is very simple. I'll give you a simple exercise you got to do. Eh? <clears throat> Basically, you need to have what you call empowering beliefs. So how you do empowering beliefs? Very simple. Take out a piece of paper and sit down and write down 10 negative things about yourself that you think. For example, I don't get up on time. I'm very lazy. I give up easily. I'm not persistent. Uh, you know, I am uh, very, um, uh, how shall I say, I get angry very fast. So write down 10 things that are actually stopping your progress. Now, you know, la, eh? I don't need to tell you anything. I mean, I don't have to tell you, hey, you are like this, you are like that. You know la, yourself, okay? Please, you know yourself. So, and this is for your own self. You don't need to show your father, mother, brothers at all. No need to show your wife also. So for yourself, so take out a piece of paper, write down 10 things about yourself, which is negative, and convert everything. So if you've written down the 10 things are negative. Now, after today, the 10 things are negative, throw away, only focus on the positive. But say, say number one, you wrote there, I'm very lazy, Mr. Kathy. So now the positive is, I value time. I work hard. Every minute of the day is important to me. Or I give up easily. The positive one is, everything I pursue, I finish it. I complete it because I get great satisfaction by doing it. Or you say, I'm very fat and ugly or, you know, I'm you know, whatever. Then you put there, I eat healthily. I value my health. Um, I'm very careful about my weight because I, it's so important for me to be able to have, uh, a, a, what do you call it, a healthy life. So it's very important for you to understand, you know, all of you, right? Write down the 10, write down the 10, okay? Uh, and, and do that. Please, it's very important for you to do that, yeah? Write down the 10, okay? and Convert it, and then what you need to do once you have converted into the ten, you need to read this, this empowering belief every day, whenever you can. So you have the ten empowering beliefs, right? You you take it out, uh, you laminate it, keep it in your car. You can take it out, read, keep it in your handbag. You can read it, uh, put it in your uh, screensaver on your phone. You can read it, uh, read it as many times as well. you're stuck in a traffic jam. Take it out and read it. I do that. I have my empowering belief in my car. So when I'm stuck in a jam, I'll take it out and read my empowering beliefs. You know, uh, it's so powerful, huh? That when you when you do that because then your mindset will start changing because whatever you say again and again and again and again and again and again become part of you so it's important for you to remember to do that so remember five things that law of attraction teaches you now there are seven things i'm teaching you five today and these are the five things very relevant number one i repeat before i go to hope on upon number one you need to fix three goals that you want to achieve by 31st december 2022 number two put them into an affirmation and write it down i'm so happy and grateful that I am, this is, this is the three things as of the December 2022, and write this affirmation 16 times a day. Number three, do a vision board, put all the pictures of all the things you want to achieve in 2022. Pictures, huh? don't write words, huh? pictures, yeah. And uh, number four, uh, get up in the morning, look at the pictures, and visualize it. Visualize you driving the car, living in the house, living the lifestyle, okay. And before you sleep, do the same thing again, okay. Uh, number five, uh, you need to have what you call empowering belief that you need to read every day. So take out this empowering belief and read every day, whenever you can, whatever time you want, do it. Because you are read because it's very difficult sometimes when you go through life not to get angry. You now, for example, one of your limiting beliefs, I get angry very fast. So what is the what is the empowering belief for a limiting belief? I get angry. Empowering belief is I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collected. I am um, in control of your, my, my emotion because I value my time, I value my life. Something like that. So when you read it again and again and again and again and again and again and again, do you know that when something happens, you won't get angry because you're reprogrammed your mind. Now, I want to tell you something else, that all the things I've just asked you to do, you must do it for 21 days for you to be part of a system. Always remember, huh? the brain nerves, huh? it takes 21 days to form. You do anything, lah. you wake up early every day, eh? wake up at 6 o'clock every day, every day 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock. After that, after 22 days, uh, 22nd day, you can wake up 6 o'clock, no problem, no need alarm clock. You sleep every day 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, you find that on the 22nd day, automatically at 10 o'clock, you'll be very sleepy because you programmed yourself. Early. The reason why a lot of people are having problem going back to work is because during pandemic, they woke up at a different time and they never go to work. Now they find it difficult to adjust to going to work because suddenly the programming has changed, you see? So, I need you to understand that. Eh? Okay, good. Let's go to um, uh, the three tips now on Ho'oponopono eh? related. Now, Ho'oponopono related uh, uh, tips are basically how to connect with the universe. Now, why is it important to have that Ho'oponopono related uh, tips? Yeah, three tips. Eh? Reason is very simple. <clears throat> what, is, what is the use of having a, an iPhone, a really good iPhone, but you're trying to make a phone call from the lift? Because when you're inside the lift, there's no reception. 
Similarly, what is the use of writing of affirmation, reading everything? If you're not connected to God, you're not connected to the universe, no use. Similarly, you could have an iPhone, but the battery is dead. Now, you can't use the iPhone. You can't use anything that without a battery, right? So if you look at God as the battery, and whatever you're doing is your what you want in life, the battery must be there for you to work. So you need to know the whole ponopono and the three things I'm going to share with you now has to be done in order for you to now connect. So if you do the first five steps and you do this next three steps, then you get connected. Then whatever you want, the vision board, the car, house, wherever you want, the writing that you want, whatever affirmation, everything is carried forward to the universe or God, whatever, you know, and you get it happening. Eh? So three things, three tips related to how to connect with the universe. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me so far. Put some thumbs up, put some heart sign. So I know you guys are really, really liking what I'm sharing with you today. Yeah? I, I, I hope it is beneficial for you. Yeah? So let's talk about the three things. Yeah? Three things that you need to know about um, Ho'oponopono and connect to the universe. Number one, the first thing you need to, you need to do is, Verigas Ho'oponopono is, you need to do a daily gratitude journal. So one exercise book, Affirmation, 16 times a day, one affirmation, one book, eh? affirmation. Eh? Okay, if you can, either you use the back of the book or buy another book, which is for gratitude journal. Okay, gratitude journal is very simple. Every day, every day before you sleep, every day before you sleep, okay? Uh, what you need to do every day before you sleep is uh, you need to um, write down everything you're grateful for. Everything you're grateful for, okay? Write down everything you're grateful for. It's very important you do that every day. Huh? Write down everything you're grateful for. So that means before you go to sleep, take out a book, your yeah, exercise book. Yeah? You call it gratitude journal and write down. I am grateful for today. That's it. First, first sentence. Huh? I am grateful for today. Then uh, for, a, for a beautiful wife, uh, for beautiful children, for a good meal, a healthy body, um, for my heart that is functioning well, for beautiful parents, uh, supportive, you know, or a house to live in a car to drive, a job that I have, anything. You're, and you can do this every day, the same thing. But the more you are thankful, the more it will come to you. The more you are thankful for anything you get, the more it will come. You know, that's gratitude. You say every day, I'm so happy, I'm healthy. You become healthier. But the problem with all of us on a daily basis, we are always complaining with this one, tachuka, we two, tachuka, everything tachuka. We, we always complain that we don't like this, we don't like that. But actually, you need to understand that if you really want a lot of things in your life, you really need to know that it's possible to get whatever you want in life, but you need to be grateful first. Why would God give you more if you're not grateful for what you have now, you know? So you need to be thankful. So the first way to connect with God, which is related to hope Ho'oponopono, is say um, thank you, gratitude. Okay, you can even do it on a phone. You can download an app called Gratitude Journal. There are, there are hundreds of apps. Huh? Download an app and, and then every day type it out. I'm so grateful for... And then da, 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 da. just write down as many as you want. Do it every day. If you miss a day, doesn't matter. Even affirmation for the matter, try not to miss. But if you miss a day, don't worry. Just next day, just continue. But try not to miss. But when you are saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and write down everything, life will become so, 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 so good. Okay? That's tip number one under Ho'oponopono. Tip number two is Ho'oponopono itself. For those of you who do not know, Ho'oponopono is a cleansing tool. It will cleanses your energy. It cleanses your karma. It cleanses your negative memory. So three things it cleanses. Huh? Cleanses your energy. You know, sometimes we've got a lot of negative energy because of the house or people we meet. We also have got um, negative karma. We would have done a lot of things in this life, past life. Don't know. Okay, okay. So we want to cleanse it. And number three, you also want to uh, cleanse your negative memories inside. Because when, since the time you're born and you grow up, people might have said, you're too tall, you're too thin, you're too short, you're too fat, you're too dark, you're too fair, you know, or whatever, you're too stupid, you're not good in this, you're not good at it, and whatever not. But you must remember something, the sun rises every day and shines equally on everybody. The sun rises every day and shines equally on everybody, which means that God gives the same blessing to everybody, whether you're tall, thin, fat, short, black, that doesn't matter. God gives the same blessings. But what you need to know is that sometimes we have been programming ourselves negatively. So you need to cleanse it. Or maybe you always uh, park the car, you know, indiscriminately. People have cursed you. Maybe you have done some harm. People have cursed you. So Ho'oponopono will help you to cleanse all that. Now, what do you need to do? Very simple. 
um, you you need to write somewhere your name. You can take a picture of yourself also can. You write your name also can. Your name, short name, full name, your pet name, doesn't matter. Father's name, mother's name, doesn't matter. Just your name. Write your name. What you need to do every day is put your hand on the name. Okay, so let's say you've written down your name on a piece of paper. Put your hand on the name. And then you say, think of your God. If you're a Muslim, say, Ya Allah. If you're Hindu, say, Siva Pramane or Muruga Pramane or Vinayagar. If you're Christian, say, Dear Lord, Jesus Christ. If you're a Buddhist, you say, Dear, uh, Dear Buddha. Whatever religion you believe in. If you don't believe in God, just say, Dear Universe. Doesn't matter. Put your hand on top and say four sentences. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I repeat, huh? your picture or your name, put your hand on top and say, uh, Dear God or Dear Universe and say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please me. Thank you. So when you say this, you must say 108 times. One day, preferably three times a day. Preferably three times a day. Do once in the morning, one in the afternoon, one at night. But please do this. The more you do, the better. I know people who have done 10 times. They get promoted, la, got seven job, job offers. La. They do 10 times. They buy share, share price go up. La. Their property, property gets sold. La. They get promoted, la. business come. La. They do 10 times. I'm just asking you to do three times at the minimum. But every time you do, you must do 108 times. So 108 times, you say, dear God, only once. But you put your hand and say, I love you. I'm sorry. Please don't thank you. 108 times, only on your name. Listen, I know if you attend my open program, there are uh, things I teach you differently, but that is different. Okay, because I that is a complete hope on other modules for today. Because I've got a lot of people are watching me for the first time, and I just want you to know that simplest thing about hope on is your name. So your name, your picture, and do it. And since we're talking about achieving goals in 2022, it is most important for you not to think about other people are deterring you. I think it's most important, right? Your name and do so that that negative energy, negative karma, everything around you will clear. Is it clear? So under hope on three things are huh? one gratitude journal, number two. Ho'oponopono itself, which is you write your name, put your hand, and do it, yeah? And number three, okay, number three, yeah, uh, is for you to do something called a pantang lima ringgit. I call it a pantang lima ringgit. For those of you from overseas, take it as maybe one US dollar, five US dollar, whatever, all right? Now, pantang lima ringgit is very simple. Okay, I want you to, number three is basically to collect blessings. Collect blessings. But I, I know I was talking about this young gentleman today, and he was talking to me, and he said, which is very true, the first set of blessings you must get is from your parents. So if you've got problem with your parents, for 2022, before 2022 start, go and seek blessing from your parents. Eh? Very, very important. Make sure they bless you. It's okay. La. They carried you for nine months. They never throw you into the Tong Sampa or Lakchi anywhere. They brought you up. So whatever issues you have, just ask for forgiveness. And what you need to do is that you need to get their blessings. But what you also need to understand is you can also do this Pantang Limering it for get blessings from everybody and everything around you. What does that mean? What it means is... so. Tip number three under Hoponopono. Eh? Tip number three is Pantang Limeringit. Pantang Limeringit is very simple. Every day when you're going through your normal transaction, whatever you do, whatever, any five ringgit you should take and keep. If you say five ringgit, eh? take and keep. So in your wallet, eh? every time you say five ringgit, take and keep. Okay, keep, 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 keep. You can either keep it and save it, which is very, very good because when you save, as the Indians say, Lakshmi will come to you because you already started saving. Uh, when you can save, more money will come to you because you value the five ringgit. But you can also do this. You save, 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 save. And whenever you get a chance, you go to a restaurant, you see a waiter, uh, you know, he's done a very good service. You give him five ringgit. You have security guards near your house. You buy five ringgit worth of tea, coffee, or you give them five ringgit to buy tea for themselves. You see a blind person, you give five ringgit. You see a beggar, you give all that is up to you. Lah. What do you want to do? Oh, you collect the money. You've got 100 ringgit, 200 ringgit, 300 ringgit already. You take the money and buy a hamper and give to a poor family. Or, you know, go and do something that makes you feel happy. Or buy food for the dogs, three dogs. Or buy buy rice and or go buy bread and go and feed the pigeons. Or go to the lake and put for the fish. Do whatever you want to do. But do things to get blessings. And that's very powerful. And you can do it in Pantang Lima Ringgit. Is that clear? So that is Pantang Lima Ringgit. Yeah? So there's three things you have to do. Huh? I repeat. Yeah? I, like I told you, my friends, later I'm going to answer questions. If any of you have any questions, you can ask me later. Huh? Let me cover these three things again. Huh? So number one, under Ho Ponopono, three things I want to tell you. Number one. You must do a gratitude journal. Gratitude journal, very simple. Take a book, write down. I'm so great. Every day, eh? at night, before you go to sleep, I'm so grateful for. Write down the list of things you're grateful for. For those of you who are, you don't want to think about everything, you only think about your body, just say, I'm grateful for my heart. I'm grateful for my kidney. I'm grateful for my liver. I'm grateful for my health, my lungs, my blood. No problem. Then you can say, I'm thankful for my family, my, you know, my children, my, my spouse, or 
you can think all that then you can say i'm so thankful for my friends you know all that you can say so say this every day write this every day this one number two is write your name put your hand on top and say dear god i love you i'm sorry please for me thank you i love you i'm sorry please thank you 108 times three times a day very 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 important okay now there are many other things you can do with hope on upon i'm not going to share with you today because i don't want to confuse you if you are interested you can come into my hope on upon program and then learn everything because you, you see it's 99 ringgit right you will only come if you are eager to learn right and i'm not here to tell you that you must pay 99 ringgit and come that's not my intention my intention is just putting on your name and doing will will create an amazing life for you okay so do that first all right that's most important number 3 pantang lima ringgit and pantang lima ringgit is i told you 5 ringgit note okay 5 ringgit note wherever you see keep it aside you can either keep it as savings you know um, and all. i i was such a such a good news for me i i have a person from dunkel and she's she's really struggling single mother with uh, kids and all and uh, she followed my pantang lima ringgit program from last year and she managed to save and she works as an operator so not much money and you know uh, and all and uh, she saved 5 ringgit and uh, recently she sent me a message and said uh, anna i have saved 1000 over ringgit with the 5 ringgit that you told me which i never ever thought i can save because i always thought i didn't have enough money and she said i'm going to buy a, a, a sewing machine and do tailoring and i was so touched by that because i thought wow wow you know so the 5 ringgit can do wonders and a lot of people don't realize i have uh, my brother uh, who saved 5 ringgit and he has saved enough uh, to take his whole family uh, and he showed me the money when i went to see him huh? it's about about almost a couple of thousand ringgit huh? and he said uh, you know and i'm going to take my whole family to india with this money uh, in 2022 i say wow and he says no just saving the 5 ringgit has made the difference so please do that huh? okay i'm going to tell you two more tips financial uh, mindset tip before i answer question huh? cuz i i know there'll be a lot of questions that's why i want to give a bit more time for question and answers now two financial tips you need to know in order for 2022 to be a great year for you okay two financial tips financial tip number 1 any income you get i want you to divide it into five areas that's very very important for you to do starting from today this is tip number 1 huh? any income you get any income your salary la your business income la unpaid la whatever income you get i teach this to my children you can teach this to your children as well. any income you get you must divide into five areas now you, you well for those who can afford it my suggestion would be 60 10 10 10 10 that means uh, 60% then 10% 10% 10% 10% if you can't afford it then it'll be 80% then 5% 5% 5% but 100% uh. so let's say if your income is 5000 ringgit okay if your income is 5000 that means the money you are getting uh, your take home pay money you are getting uh, 5000 okay from the 5000 you can only use up 60% for your expenses. So you must manage your expenses. Or if you really, really cannot, then okay, la, 80%. But what I'm trying to say is, if, let's say if you take 80% of it as your expenses. So for example, 5,000 ringgit you're getting in your hand. So 60% of it is 3,000, you only spend 3,000. But let's say 80%, that means 4,000 you spend for your whatever expenses. Okay, fine, let's say, okay, you spend okay, 80%. But the balance of it, okay, uh, if you're spending 60%, eh, is 10%, uh, for you to put aside for savings very important huh? 10 percent for savings 10 percent for you to put aside for um, investment okay investment okay talking about investment i'll talk to you shortly my next tip is about investment right huh? so you put aside for investment 10 percent of it okay um investment could be anything but just remember now to put aside first okay 10 percent the other 10 percent you actually put for um uh, time for saving um what do you call it? play you put that play play means uh, i want you to put 10 percent collect the money and once you've got a good sum um go for a holiday with your family you go for a holiday yourself but you need to really understand uh, you don't want to work 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 get sick and die and go off. you want to be able to enjoy life it could be just three days holiday to good thing or you know three days you know something you can do that but I want you to remember to put aside 10%. So you, it's called play. Play is because you don't want your children to say, Papa, Papa, I want to go here. Yeah, Mama, I want to go here. Oh, no money. La. No money. La. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. I mean, you've got a bit of money. You can take them to Sunway Lagoon. You've got a bit of money. Take them to Genting. So, but you have to allocate it for it. That's why 2022, have this goal. I want to take my children for holidays. I want to go on holiday with my family. But you can only do that if you allocate your money properly. So starting from January, yeah? starting, you can start with December. When your December salary comes, you can do that. 
But otherwise, from January, when the salary comes, make sure you spend, okay, I'll be more reasonable, 80% is the only thing you spend. So when your salary comes, you calculate, take out 80%, the other 20% put aside. That 20%, 5% for savings. That means put it into an account, uh, don't have an ATM, nothing, but don't touch it, keep it somewhere. 5% uh, you actually do for investment. Put aside, I'll tell you what to do with you later. 5% you put it for play. Okay, play, eh? you can do it for play, all right? That means for you to have holidays. The other 5% you can do for charity. Put aside for charity and do good, do charity. Now, assuming you are using the five ringgit, you know, pantang de mango for charity, then this 5% is for you to invest and develop yourself. I repeat, eh? so 80% for your salary goes to expenses because every one of you has got expenses eh? if you can you know if some of you are higher income so maybe you only spend about 60 percent then spend about 60 percent take less of starbucks coffee and take go to the more mama shop uh, eat less and more expensive restaurant and go and eat less so something like that like eat in more than eat out you know the kind of thing yeah so when you can spend within 60 uh, percent then that 40 percent balance 10 percent for uh, savings 10 percent for charity why savings eh? because sometimes eh, when when opportunities come for you you can buy a property, whatever, you don't have money. That's why savings are very important. Also for um, uh, whatever you call it, um, emergency. So 10% for savings, um, like I said, 10 or 5%, eh? savings, 10 or 5% for investment, 10 or 5% for play. And I told you already, keep, 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 keep. When the money comes in, talk to your husband, talk to your wife, talk to your children and say, where you want to go for holiday, go with for a nice holiday with them. Eh? And do this every two, three months once. Amazing. Your family life will improve, your life will improve. Amazing things happen. Eh? And the last, uh, five or ten percent is you can put for charity, okay, and investing in yourself. That means, like for example, you say, hey, oh, no, 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 ninety nine ringgit for Mr. Kathi's program. Ah, now put aside, come and join my program because it will really, really enrich you. Because once you pay for my ninety nine ringgit program, either law of attraction or Hoponopono, at least then you can keep in touch with me because I will actually give you exercise to do and send it to me, and I will, I will, I will keep in touch with you so I can guide you. But then again, like I said, if you don't want to do that, it doesn't matter. But maybe you want to invest in an Anthony Robbins program or T. Harbour program or Robert Kiyosaki program. Or maybe you want to be a real estate agent, go and invest in real estate books. You see, that's where buying books, uh, enrolling for seminar programs always comes in. Is that clear? So tip number one, under financial mindset, which is actually tip number nine. Because I'm told you, I'm going to give you 10 tips, right? So tip number one, uh, first five tips on law of attraction. Next three tips on Ho'oponopono. The now last two tips, I've already given you tip number nine, which is, Whatever income you get, whatever income, you win, even if you win lottery for the matter, I would suggest take out the money from the lottery or whatever income you get. Yeah, 60% take it and do what you want to do. It doesn't matter, um, you know, spend, whatever. But I have this concept of 60, 10, 10, 10, 10. Very powerful. Do it um, whichever way you can and be disciplined about it. Now, I will tell you this today. I have a lot of followers who follow me and a lot of followers follow this program and a lot of people do what I've asked them to do. I am telling you, the life has changed tremendously. Their life has changed tremendously. Tremendously. Because they follow the simple, simple steps. And I, I hope you will. Financial tip number two, which is the last tip I want to tell you. And the reason, I normally I don't share this tip uh, a lot. And I only share this only in my talks, you know, my, my financial independent talk. When people come for finance, so I normally don't share in a public talk on law, I can hope on, hope on. But I'm sharing this with you today. The reason is because I think in 2022, most of you want to have a better financial situation. A better financial situation, correct? Okay, if you want to have a better financial situation, I need you to understand something called rule of 72. Okay, so tip number 10 is rule of 72. Okay, now rule of 72 is a finance uh, rule which tells you how fast your money can double. You remember I told you just now put aside 10% for savings, 10% for investment, so the 20% there, right? So you have that money there, right? Okay, now this money that you have, where do you put it? How do you invest? Where do you put it to make money? Many people don't know how to do that. And that is the reason why I think you need to understand rule of 72. Now, rule of 72 is very simple. I'll give you a simple example. Huh? Many of you don't know this, but this is what really happens. You keep money in savings account, okay? How much percentage does savings account give you? 1%, 1%. So if you have 10,000 ringgit in savings, and you get 1% from the bank, what it means is 72, rule of 72, eh? 72 divided by 1%, 72, 72 years, which means your 10,000 become 20,000 in 72 years. You still want to keep money in your savings? I mean, keep lah, not a lot. If you keep 100,000, 200,000 in savings or 50,000 in savings, because it's ridiculous. 
that means you really don't know how to make money. Or, or rule of 72, you keep some money in FD. FD is now 2.5, let's say 3%, 3%, huh? 3% is FD. So rule of 72, 72 divided by 3 is 24 years, which means if you keep 10,000 in FD, it will take 24 years to become uh, 20,000. That's what it means. Understood? So every time you want to do investment, now, after now, after today, you can always uh, uh, do an FB message to me and say you want to know more about investment. I'll tell you what to do. You can come for my investment talk. I'll teach you how to do investment. Don't worry. But I'm just giving you this understanding of this thing called rule of 72. Uh, so rule of 72 is basically about interest you get from the money you have. So because if you follow my tip number nine, which is you're going to put aside money for savings and investment, where do you keep this money? Of course, keep in the bank. That's not a problem. What you don't realize is that when you keep your money in savings and you FD in the bank, the bank give you 1% and 3%. But what the bank does is they take your money, they invest outside, they make a lot of money. That's why the profits for Malaysian banks during pandemic is 2 billion, 3 billion and all because many of you never take out the money, you left it there. And they took it and do investment because that's how they do. They do investment. I mean, that's bank's job. So I'm not here to say anything. But I am telling you, be smart. Don't put all the eggs in one basket. Okay, so the third one, for example, EPF. EPF gives you 6%. Okay, this is why it is good to have EPF savings. Yeah, because when you have 6%, that means 72 divided by 6. Okay, that's 12, which means every 12 years, your money will double. Every 12 years. Now, some of you put your money in um, insurance or uh, mutual fund. Mutual fund insurance, good. Okay, because they are both there to protect you long term. Very, very good. Um, they, but they're in the stock market. Eh? So stock market, the returns are much, much lower compared to many other investment tools. Eh? But if you put it in, in, in uh, insurance and uh, unit trust, let's say 8 years, um, sorry, 8%. 8%. Eh? So rule of 72, 72 divided by 8 is 9 years, which means, which is the reason why we put in insurance and uh, unit trust. They always tell you, uh, you'll really see good income after 7, 8, 9 years. Why? Because only then your money would have doubled or would have picked up. Okay, assuming the company that you've invested in is a good company and they know where to invest, you'll easily get about 8 to 9%. So let's say if it is about um, 8% return from either unit trust or your savings, you'll make about 9 years. So every 9 years, so if you put 10,000, 9 years later, it become 20,000, which is better than putting in savings and wait for 72 years. Correct or not? So I need you to think carefully, you know, all right, that, you know, rather than putting money in savings and FD and all, right? Now, I also uh, teach people about how to, uh, do what you call private placement. Private placement, you can make 18%. 18% a month you can get. And that is every four years can double. Okay, 18%. But normally for uh, private placement, you need to have a lot of money. And normally a lot of banks are the one who will do it if you are a premium customer and not 18%. Now, there's one more instrument which is called currency fund management, which I also teach people and I also teach them how to invest. You can actually do currency investment with 100 US dollars to 1000 USD. And the returns can be as high as 36% in a year, which means every two years, the money can double. But I need you to understand currency is risky. So that's why people put only 100 USD or 1000 USD, okay? But you don't trade in currency, but you put it in fund management, where people will actually have fund managers who manage your money. Just like you don't want to buy shares, but you put in unit trust or mutual fund, somebody else will buy shares for you. Similarly, you put in currency fund management, you put the money, somebody else will take it and then manage it for currencies for you. Returns are extremely high. But I do talks you know, on all this. If you're interested, you know, in fact, what, what you all should do after today's talk is you, you go to Facebook Messenger, message me, or those of you who have my phone number, uh, you can WhatsApp me. Uh, what you need to do, you just put there, uh, I want to know more about Law of Attraction, Hope on Open Up, then I'll tell you about my recorded program, Law of Attraction program and Hope on a program, 99 ringgit each. You can you can get into the program <coughs> unless you want to be a certified trainer then it's a thousand ringgit right? but others only 99 ringgit and you'll know all about law of attraction i've got eight videos in tamil eight videos in english you can learn from it if you want to do hoponopono i've got four videos that you learn all about hoponopono 99 ringgit each you can do that but if you want to know about investment or you want to know about making money and uh, then what you need to do you can uh, whatsapp me and say i want to know how to make money or how to do investment what i do when i do my next talk on investment i'll tell you then you can come and listen to my investment talk and decide whether you want to put in 100 years dollar or 1000 years dollars and invest okay into investment tools or not that's totally up to you but what i need you to know is in 2022 make the right decisions for those of you who feel that 
you know, you've never invested in unit trust, you've never invested in insurance, or never put in FD. I think it's about time you start thinking that way because it's so important. Or you never invested into currencies, think that way. I, I, I can be a coach for you and guide you, but it's totally up to you whether you want to do it or not because it's your money, it's your investment, right? Uh, I have a lot of talks I do just to educate people, you know, because I don't think about making money all the time. I, I do make money because I feel that people need to pay in order to see value. But for investments, you know, I'll give you advice, then it's up to you. But I need you to know that only when you follow these 10 steps, only when you follow these 10 steps, you're going to have money. And as you have money, then you need to make the right decisions. But you're not going to have money if you don't know how to manage your income. If always at this point in time, your income is, you know, you know, like uh, sometimes you're above water, sometimes underwater, sometimes above water, underwater, above water, underwater, sure, die one. But you need to know how to manage. That's why every time you make your money, you need to divide it into the area. Okay. So that's it for today. I want you to write, type out any questions you have. I'm going to answer questions, but I just want to reiterate. I've covered 10 points today. 10 points today. First five is on law of attraction. Number one, identify three goals you want to achieve in 2022. Number two, uh, I told you about how to write affirmations 60 times a day. Number three, vision board. Number four, how to do visualization. Number five, how to do empowering statement and read it every day. Under the Ho'oponopono, three things. One is gratitude journal. Number two is do Ho'oponopono. Number three is do uh, Pantang Lima Ringgit. Okay, where you put aside five ringgit. Yeah? And uh, under financial, I told you two tips. Number one, you need to know how to manage your income. Whatever income you're getting, you need to know how to manage. It's very important. And divide it into these five areas. And if you want to do investment and save money and make money, understand rule of 72. Always remember, rule of 70 is very, very, very important. So people ask me, Mr. Kati, which is better? Public mutual uh, or, or mutual fund? Public mutual or, you know, all other mutual fund companies. Eh? Or should I put it in um, insurance or should I put it in um, uh, EPF? EPF gives you 6%. That means the doubling of money is every 12 years. You put it in mutual fund is every 8, 9 years. So obviously insurance. But if you ask me between mutual fund and all, should I look into other investment tools like currency? Yeah. Because currency can give you returns every two years. Okay. Um, so you need to you need to look at everything before you decide what you want to do. Yeah. But I think the most important thing, maybe I should finish up with that today. Yeah? Um, unless you all have a lot of questions. Huh? The most important thing I want to tell you today, my friends, you need a coach. All of you need a coach. Coach me doesn't you have to engage them, not to pay them nothing. You know, I mean, I think everybody knows huh? whenever they send me a message, I already reply. Why? Because I, I feel it's a call for help. I will always help. But you need to coach, you need to guide. Even when I say coach, you don't have to engage a coach. If you go and watch all my YouTube videos, you learn so many things. You go and watch all the YouTube videos by Asanji or Sadhguru, or you go and watch videos by, you know, T. Habeke or, you know, uh, Robin Sharma. You learn a lot. But you need to have a coach. Look for someone that you really admire, really respect, and follow them, you know, and they will guide you and teach you what you need to do. Yeah? Okay. So I have come to the end of uh, my talk. Um, ta -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So, any questions? Anybody has got any questions? I'm just going to see whether you have any questions. If no questions, okay. If you <coughs> have no questions, maybe y'all can just give some comments. You do like my talk. What do you think of my talk? Um, you know, just maybe put some comments so that I will know you guys uh, enjoyed, uh, you know, listening to me. Just taking some water, waiting for you guys to comment. Okay, I see a lot of hardship sign. Very good. Okay. Um, any questions, anybody? Uh, do we have any questions? Any questions? Oh, no questions there. Anyone, any questions? Uh, 2022 is going to be a good year. Understand this, huh? Uh, I, I normally ask people, they'll say, I will ask, you know, and they'll say knowledge is very powerful. I'll say, are you sure? Actually, knowledge is not powerful if you don't apply it. So understand knowledge is powerful only if you apply the knowledge. So if you apply the knowledge, 2022 is going to be an amazing year. I'm telling you today, my friends, I'm willing to guide you guys, I, you know, coach you guys and, you know, help you where you want. But you need to know that you got to act on it. You got to do something about it. Then it's how you benefit from it. Okay. So I want to. See, no, still no questions. Okay, since there are no questions, uh, some comments. Can I get some comments? What do you think about today's talk? Um, some comments. I actually said I'll talk until 10 o'clock, but uh, looks like we're gonna, it's only 9.34 now. Uh, any comments? Anyone about what do you think of the talk? Uh, put down some comments. So I know that you like the talks, you know. Um, now, okay, so 
what I want you to know is this. Uh, after the talk today, you can go to FB Messenger. Uh, and uh, in FB Messenger, send a message to me and say, uh, want to know more about law of attraction, hope on, hope on, then I will send you and tell you about my program. You can pay 99 ringgit and subscribe to my program. That's one. If you want to know more about making money or investing money, then go to my Facebook Messenger, send a message to me and say, uh, investment, making money. Then I will put you in my, my, my list. And then when I do my next talk on investment, I will invite you. You can come and listen to my investment and decide how to invest. Okay. Um, no comments, anyone? Okay. Am I not seeing uh, any chats? No comments? Nobody has no comments. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, I don't know why I was not getting comments. Okay, now I'm getting comments. Okay, let me just check whether there are any questions or not. Huh? What is the daily protocol for LOA? Okay, Krishna Veni has got a question. Huh? What is the daily protocol? Okay, very good question. Because based on what I taught you today, Krishna Veni, huh? first of all, you need to write the affirmation 16 times a day. Okay, number two, you need to make sure that you are doing visualization based on the vision board. Number three, you must do Ho'oponopono in the morning and uh, uh, three times a day, 108 times, three times a day. Number four, you need to have an empowering belief. You must read okay, as, as many times possible. And the last thing you must do before you go to sleep is to do a gratitude journal. This is the main thing. This is the protocol. Huh? I repeat, number one, write down your affirmation 16 times a day. Number two, you need to look at your vision board and do visualization in the morning and at night. Number three, you need to write your name down or your picture, put your hand on top, do Ho'oponopono 108 times, three times a day. Okay, number four, take your empowering belief that I asked you to read about positive things about yourself. Read it as many times as possible when you can. And number five, uh, number six, I can't remember now. <laughs> At the end of the day, before you sleep, do gratitude journal. Is that clear? Do gratitude journal. Anything else? Uh, no questions. Huh? Oh, yeah, so good. Eh? Anybody else? Any questions? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I appreciate all those um, comments and, you know, things you say. It means a lot to me because, you know, when I do this, I really don't know how much people are appreciative or how much they have benefited. And sometimes when, I'm, when, I, when I want to share, there's so many things I want to share, like, so many things I want to share, you know. But uh, since today was just a talk for an hour and I know a lot of people wanted to join in to just listen. So I thought I'll give the gist of it. And I think what I've given you is so good that, you will definitely benefit and you will definitely be able to have a better 2022. Huh? So if there are no other questions, I'm going to end the session. I'm going to just check one more time. Okay. Um, if no other questions. Okay. But anyway, I think since all of you know that you can always keep in touch with me uh, and uh, anytime you want. So and in this video, um, what I will do is I'm going to download into Facebook. Uh, sorry. I'm going to download and put in YouTube. So you can actually watch this video in YouTube, yeah? It's, I'm sending you the link. You can send the link of this YouTube video to anybody and who didn't watch today. So I'll do that for you. Tomorrow, if you go into Facebook, you can see this, this session live. But I also put the Facebook link. You can copy the Facebook link for this particular session and send to your brothers and sisters and your spouse and your family members, anybody else you think will benefit from this particular talk. Because when you help others, it's a blessing for you and more good things will come to you. And I know 2022 is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing year, but you need to make it happen. Is that clear? So thank you very much, everybody, for listening to me today. I uh, love you all. Thank you for joining me, for the 170 of you who joined me today. Uh, thank you for taking your time. Please take care of yourself. Follow the SOP. Be safe. And um, hope to catch up with all of you one day or meet up with you one day personally. Yeah? So bye-bye for now. Take care.